What is going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at 10 reasons why the Egypt pyramid terrifies scientists. Now this video is gonna be going on the main channel. Uh, something happened with, I recorded for like an hour straight guys, like about two, three days ago. I don't know what happened. Like the sound didn't record, but everything else recorded. That was a whole hour wasted of my time, but this one is gonna go on my main channel. So if you wanna see more videos like this though, you can check out my second channel, which is Angelo Reacts. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and the second channel. I'll leave it in the link in the description below. Let's go ahead and get right into it. 10 amazing reasons why the Egypt pyramids terrify scientists. The pyramids are some of history's most iconic structures, but so much about them is clouded in mystery and unexplainable Man, I origins. I love these things. I got to Here are one 10 day. amazing reasons why the Egypt pyramids terrify scientists. Number 10, each brick weighs from 2 to 50 tons. Two to Imagine 50 the transportation tons? cost of carrying 2 How is to that 50 possible? tons of any item today. Back then? It would probably be an insane amount no matter what you're carrying, despite all the technological advancements that we've made today that make doing something like this much That's easier crazy. than ever before. Now, go back 5,000 years, and they were carrying 2.5 wow. million of these blocks that, that weighed huge, up to 50 bro. tons, all within a 12-year time frame. And that's for the Great Pyramid alone. Wow. While 12 years I didn't is know that they were a like long time that for big. a construction they, they project today, on, like, for the time these pyramids were built, it's downright miraculous and highly confusing to scientists how the ancient Egyptians were able to build something like wow. this without any support from modern technology at all. Maybe we haven't advanced so much as a civilization after all. Right, how are they lifting that? Number nine, the what pyramids do do? aren't even close to how they originally looked. This fact makes scientists, historians, Man. and archeologists sadder than it makes them scared. And that's because much of the pyramid's original exterior has been lost to time because yeah, of natural eroded. deterioration, disasters, or looting. While the original structure, wow. which is arguably the most important part, continues to withstand the test of time. The same can that be said crazy. for the incredible detail that was on these structures that were the finishing touches to this monument for the pharaohs. The Hold on, I just want to pause really quick. Like, just think about that in your head. Like, if you could go back in the time and look at what, like, imagine what they looked like when they were fully done Oh my, man, if I could go back in time and see that, oh my gosh. All right, play the video. Pyramids were made of massive limestone blocks that we see today. But covering all of that up was a coating of a somewhat rarer white limestone. The white mm. limestone was considered to be the main attraction for the pyramids when they were built. I could see As that. it would shine like a diamond in the desert yeah. whenever the sun would reflect on them. There aren't any plans of restoring the white limestone which means we may never be you? able to see the pyramids how they were meant to be seen. Number eight, too much they money. were able to survive without scientific technology. We've already mentioned how amazing it is that these pyramids were built such a long time ago on a scale that wouldn't be seen for thousands of years after they'd already been built. And we've also mentioned how the original structure withstood the test of time. But that's not just some passing comment. It's absolutely ridiculous how these pyramids are still standing today. Out of all of Man. the seven wonders of the world, the Great Pyramids of Giza are the only structures on the list that continue to stand, despite the fact that they're older than each of the other six wonders. Even other pyramids found around the world have failed to bear the scrutiny of time and are all usually wow. partially damaged or simply too small to be compared to the Egyptian ones. I just don't know how they the did it. The question of how these pyramids were protected is something that confuses scientists to this day. How did they Number make seven, them? the Pyramid of Khafre is not the tallest. This is one fact that wasn't even well known until just a few hundred years ago. Hmm. If you've seen any pictures of all the pyramids together, Man, you'll crazy. be able to see that Khafre, the pyramid that in the center that seems bigger and taller than the rest, towers above them all. While it does tower above them, it's actually because it's constructed on higher ground than the rest of them. Uh. In reality, the Pyramid of Khafre is about 136 meters tall and was originally around 143 meters tall. The Perception Pyramid of Khufu of alongside it is actually taller from the ground up at 1,385 wow. meters tall. And that pyramid was originally about 146 meters tall. 
The Khafre Pyramid still remains the pyramid that's in the best condition, with part of the mm. white limestone still visible on it. That's Number crazy. Six, the granite that is still on the, the pyramid after all this time with weathering. We've learned a lot of things from science and historians wow. about the Great Pyramids, but this is certainly not one of them. There is a granite there coffer day. located inside one of the pyramids. And while that isn't really a remarkable discovery, considering how grand the pyramids themselves are, there is the one really special thing about that granite coffer. It's too hmm. big. The granite coffer is simply too big to fit inside the room it's in. There's no possible what way it would have gotten in there without damaging the entry or coffer itself, unless oh. the room was actually built around this. Scientists have tried to look for answers, but have always come back empty-handed. Wow. Number five, the various theories about their origins. Egyptians. You've probably heard some of these theories before, but because the Egyptian pyramids have a history that's clouded by mystery and uncertainty, many people have made their own theories about their origins and how they came into being. Since the pyramids were made at a time where it would have normally been impossible to build something of the scale, some yeah, people believe slaves. that there might have been extraterrestrial help in their construction and that the pyramids might be a base for <laughs> extraterrestrial landings in the future oh or may have gosh. been one in the past. Of course, scientists won't ever rule out everything, even if it's something as unlikely as this. They use we slaves. may never truly know the story behind these magnificent structures. Number four, the temperature wow. inside the pyramids. Yes, I've seen Air that. It's super is truly hot. truly a luxury that we all take for granted in the 21st century. But in ancient Egypt, they didn't have such luxuries. Despite not having any access to electricity or machines that could cool wow. air, the Great Pyramids of Giza are all about 20 degrees Celsius on the inside, with the temperature never exceeding that point. Considering the temperature in the desert can get upwards of 50 degrees Celsius, that's a remarkable feat in and of itself that ancient Egyptian engineers were smart enough to construct something that self-regulates the temperature. Mm. Number three, it was built without slaves. One it common misconception about the pyramids is that they I were they probably built by chained slaves who were forced to carry yeah. heavy blocks of limestone on their backs somehow. But that theory, which was usually peddled by ancient Greek historians who tried to make sense of the pyramids' construction, has been proven to be false. Mm. In more recent okay. times, workers' living quarters have shown that they lived quite luxurious lives. They were usually handpicked among the best workers in the empire, hmm. and there were even nearby cities and settlements where they grew their own food and lived with their families if they had one. Working Man. conditions weren't nearly that bad either. Ancient Egyptians were recently uncovered to have access to post holes, ramps, and stairs that would allow them to transport these large blocks, although with a lot of workers. Number two, they're How? not the only pyramids in the region. The Great Pyramids of Giza are one of the wow. most well-known pieces of architecture in the history of mankind. Few other buildings, even megastructures that were built thousands of years after these, failed to live up to the grandeur and spectacularity of these few structures. However, while they may be monumental, they're far from the only pyramids in the region. Numerous other pyramid complexes exist both within and outside the borders of Egypt. In fact, the country with the most pyramids in the world isn't even Egypt. Bordering what? Sudan, which was once the center of the Nubian civilization that was closely linked to Egypt, is home wow. to more pyramids than anywhere else on Earth, over 220. This really makes you Whoa. and science. 220? 220 pyramids? How? <laughs> I can't even wrap my head around it. Like, how were they doing this back then? Like, what? Okay, play the video. Scientists wonder how many pyramids still exist in the region that we simply have yet to uncover. Number one, it was the tallest building on Earth for thousands of years. Wow. And finally, something that doesn't actually confuse scientists as much as it fascinates them is that nothing of the Great Pyramid scale would be built for thousands of years. The Great Pyramid of Giza, or the Khufu Pyramid, was built around 2500 BC, and it was Dang. only around 1300 AD, almost 3,000 years later, when the tower of the Lincoln's Cathedral in England would finally surpass that height. In Bro. terms of skyscrapers, it wasn't even until the 20th century that we were finally able to make one that surpassed its height with the Singer Building in Manhattan. 
I don't Those get were it. the 10 amazing reasons why the Egypt pyramids terrify scientists. So that's the end of the video. My mind continues to be blown by how they were able to do this. Like, I really do not get it. So they didn't use slaves. Apparently they used some of the finest workers there. And then on top of that, they weighed like, what did he say, five to 20 tons? Five to 20 tons back then? I mean, obviously they were probably larger or taller humans back then, but that is insane. Let me know what you think on this in the comment section below, as well as where you would like to visit if you had the money to. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd love to have you here to join that O squad. And until next time, you guys, peace out.